Hello everyone, welcome to Anime Background Junkie. Today we're gonna talk about the different brushes in traditional anime background. So this time we're gonna talk about what are the right materials for painting anime backgrounds. The same level as the anime we watch on TV or film. Does it matter if you use Japanese materials such as bamboo brush and hake brush or brushes that you can buy from any art store? Now we'll tackle all of these here. As you can see, we have three sets of uh, brushes here. The brushes on the left are the Japanese bamboo brushes and hake brush. The brushes in the middle are nylon brushes, which you can buy from any art store. The brushes on the right are IKEA Kids Mala brushes. Let me repeat my question. Does it matter what kind of brushes you need to use in order to achieve that anime background level? The answer is, it doesn't matter because you can use any kind of brushes. There are some few things you need to consider first in order to reach that kind of level. You need sharp tip pointed brushes. The good thing about Japanese bamboo brushes, you can customize the nib of it. You can make it flat, for example, if you are painting some greeneries like grasses or wood textures. This brush is also effective in layouting lines by turning the tip into sharp nib. Nylon sharp tip brushes are effective in detailing your artworks. Small details can be achieved by using these kinds of brushes. On the other hand, the IKEA brushes are normal brushes that you can also use. It totally doesn't matter what kind of brushes you need to use as long as you have a sharp tip brush. Aside from using the pointed brushes, which is also important, you need to use these kind of brushes. These brushes are effective for painting large flat colors like the sky, landscape or a wall. Applying two or multiple colors using large brushes creates that smooth surface transitions in between colors. Two important things you need to consider. First, you can use any kind of brushes as long as you have the sharp tip or pointed ones. Second, same thing like I said before, any brand of large brushes will do as long as you have starting from 1 inch to 2.5 inches size width. Later in my upcoming post, we will discuss how to use these brushes from large brushes applying soft passages and down to the smallest brushes we can use to applying the details. I hope you like and enjoy my video. Don't forget to like, add your comments below, and subscribe to this channel. Until next time.